sacrifice of Mars. The terrorist group Antifa has new cell in Philly and they're calling for property seizures, violence on police, and all out revolution. Now, what we're seeing here is a communist revolution in progress. This is the same thing, believe me, this is the same thing that happened in Nicaragua. Except this is a much larger country, and there are a lot of people with guns who uh, don't like Antifa. That's the difference. The group currently hosts anti-police workshops called Our Enemies in Blue. For that alone, they should be uh, busted and taken to the Iron Bar Motel. The group draws inspiration from convicted mur murderers and calls on violence against police, theft of goods, and armed insurrection. So, what the hell is happening? Why are they not locked up? Why are they not arrested and locked up? Antifa websites like It's Going Down, Submedia, and Insurrection News have been promoting the group which calls itself a revolutionary about abolitionist movement, calling their leaders to donate to a fundraiser account for the creation of the new cell. So here, President Trump, uh, what are you doing, sir? This is a terrorist organization. They need to be shut down immediately. The press release the group published in far-left media is filled with hyperbolic claims about how mosques are being ruthlessly bombed and how LGBT, TQ, whatever, being battered. The destruction of black life continues unabated as millions languish in the plantations of the modern-day slave system, the group states. <sighs> Unbelievable. Taking pride in the legacy of Philadelphia's rich revolutionary system, Ram Sites, Mumia Abu Jamal, the Black Panther act activist who shot and killed Philadelphia police officer Daniel Faulkner in 1981. No, he was, he's a murderer. Is or was, whatever. Also cites Rush, Russell Schultz, who shot a police officer in the back five times in 1970. Similar to Antifa, the action of the Black Panthers have been described as having the very undefined purpose of assaulting police officers. Like other Antifa groups, Rand claims to oppose usualisms and white supremacy by a quick looking organization's political foundation pages. I led by Far Left Watch notes the inclusion of several alarming points, including the abolition of gender and expropriate, expo whatever, and the cooperative economy. Expropriation. There we go. Uh, President Trump. Sir, I think it's time to call out National Guard and arrest these sons of bitches. I'm sorry, this is a communist group and they are criminals and they are terrorists and they need to be taken down immediately. The latter calls on members to expropriate or take away goods, lands, and tools to begin a revolutionary process. Expropriate. Creation is another way of saying seize or steal. That's what communists do. There's no difference between these and the uh, Nicaraguan Sandinistas, other than language and little culture. But it's the same people. It's the same exact terrorists, it's the same exact communists. Organization models itself after the so called Rajava Revolution, a leftist guerrilla movement currently active in northern Iran. Ram states and counties offer a foundation communal and council based political organization in the world to self defense. Organizations within the the Java Revolution are currently involved in combat against ISIS. Ram 
Right. Well, there you have it. Uh, President Trump sir, that this uh, Warren Tiffin group needs to be arrested immediately. We have terrorist cells operating right out in the open. And nothing happens. That's one of the reasons you got elected, sir, is to uh, clamp down on stuff like this. Some of the national, some of them where you need the FBI arrest these people, shut their place down, be dumb. Flying for a revolution. 20 years, or however long they can get, sedition. I'm Artifacts Mars, dealing with the street. These are terrorists, nothing more. And as far as I'm concerned, I don't care what your cause is, if you're a terrorist, you're on the fighting side of me. 